In this lesson, we're going to talk about another fantastic product from K Rain, their rotor called the Super Pro. I'm holding a four inch rotor here in my hand. It also comes in a 12 inch high pop model, a shrub head rotor, and it has some optional features like a check valve and a reclaimed water ID, which is purple pieces here on the top for easy identification. The radius um, a range in this head goes from 26 feet up to 49 feet. The left limit is fixed. It's got an arc memory clutch, which if you somehow take it out of its adjusted range, it'll find its way back and go back to its intended adjustment range. And it has a feature here. Let's go ahead and look at uh, my artist rendition of the top of this head. Forgive me, I know it's a little rough, but um, I just want a way to be able to point out here what we're looking at and explain. And by the way, on this head, <clears throat> For the um, for K Rain's Super Pro and another product they have called the RPS 75, you can get this top rubber piece here without K Rain's branding, and you can get your own branding on there with your company name, um, a phone number, or whatever you want to put on there. And I think it's a fantastic piece for branding. Of course, you have to buy an unmixed palette quantity to get that done. But, you know, if you're out there and you're branding yourself, and it's also good if you're doing repairs and replacing heads, you know what heads that you've replaced. Me, I like to put stickers down here and, and uh, cover those up with packing tape. So I know what head that I've installed in case there's ever an issue with warranty. I mean, it's on the invoice and everything, but these are just good ways of, of branding yourself or paying attention to what you've installed out there in the field. But as we take a look here at this diagram, at the 12 o'clock position, we see the, the nozzle retention screw. Now, on other heads, to shorten the radius, we're going to run that nozzle retention screw down in there. And in fact, k -Rain calls it the breakup screw, but we don't want to do that on this particular head because we have a feature over here at the nine o'clock position. That's our intelligent flow technology. You know, it's the slot that we, if we set our uh, tool down in there and commence to turn in it, then we can reduce the radius while simultaneously reducing the flow out of the head. That's a pretty fantastic feature. Right here in the middle, we have the, the, uh, the arc indicator and also the arc adjustment. So we see a, a arrow pointed at the position on the dial here that indicates our arc. And at the very bottom, at the six o'clock position, we have the keyhole that if you insert your tool down in there, you can extend that head out to change the nozzle. On this head, you get a nozzle tree that has 12 options. We have eight standard options and four low angle options. One of the things I like about this nozzle tree is that the flow is printed, you know, for like eight gallons per minute or four gallons per minute, which is the rating at 30 PSI, but it's super easy to see. And their nozzle has a little fin here that you can grab with needle nose or whatever to pull in or, or pull out or push in or whatever. So I really like this product. It's got a lot of uh, neat features to it. And let's take a look at it in action. Okay, so we want to check our arc and see what it's doing. And since the left limit is fixed on this, we're going to have to physically adjust that by grabbing it by its shaft or by the can to turn it. And if we want to adjust our right limit, we stick our tool down here into the arc adjustment slot, feel its seat, and then we can turn that arrow around to figure out where our head is going to be, and then we're going to check it. So now if we want to shorten up our radius, we stick our tool in over here, and we can reduce that down. And look, it doesn't really flatten that stream out. It does just a tiny bit, but not like using a breakup screw. But you can cut this head completely off, which allows you to change the nozzle while the zone is running or be able to check for leaks on the zone side of the pipes. And then now we've extended it back out and it's fully running again. 